this is your girl XO Effort Times Opportunity plus Optimism, your local vegan thought, treasure and <laughs> health overall, teach yourself love. And I am here with the beautiful and amazing mm -hmm. and talented Lilith Rose in the kitchen. Yes, so excited to be here. Yes. <laughs> I mean, go ahead and give, you know what I'm saying, give the people a little spiel about where you come, a little background, just real quick. We're going to get into the interview later. We're going to get into the yeah, interview later. Yeah. So. Um, I'm Lilith Rose and um, from Richmond, Virginia. I love music, art, uh, just beautiful things, all the beautiful things. I love food, I love Kendra. <laughs> so I'm just really excited to be here and to be working with you tonight. Um, I, I love cooking as well. So to have this opportunity to really be, to be able to cook together and you know, it's just, it's just another bonding experience. We've been, we've been rolling lately and doing a lot of uh, partnerships and collabs. So this is just another one for the books. There you go, another <laughs> one for the books. And definitely it is. So today what we're gonna be cooking is a seven layer dip. And also, mm -hmm. she said already that she is also a chef. So, um, <laughs> tell me a little bit about, you know what I'm saying, what you about to do. Well, yours yeah. is totally the fancier <laughs> deal. But it's the company, you know. Yeah, so company. since we, we got, she's got a lot of dips going on, a lot of delicious Spanish inspired dips. So I'm just going to come along with the homemade tortilla chips, you know. Fry them up, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a nice, a nice combination, another nice collab. The chips and the dip. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and I mm -hmm. absolutely am. I am ready. I'm so excited. Um, so right now, what we're gonna do is so. First off, let me say shout out to Healthy Mixes. All right. Hey, yes. Um, so. <laughs> What I want to do, whenever I do these vlogs, whenever I do the sustenance and sound sessions, I want to be able to highlight a local brand whenever, you know what I'm saying, I'm in the kitchen representing. Because you already know who I am. Mm -hmm. You know, it's cool. You already know who the person I'm featuring is. So what about, you know what I'm saying, a local brand is also doing their thing. So if you know a brand and they got t-shirts, merchandise, anything that I can go ahead and lace myself with, go ahead and pick up from them, cop, mm -hmm. whatever, go ahead and tag them. Please. Thank yeah. you. All right, little plug in, but um, yeah. So I already made the refried beans. I'm like, what am I smelling already? I just, already. There's like a couple lids open, just cracked, and I'm smelling so much flavor, and deliciousness. <laughs> so yes, it. so yes, <laughs> I've already done the refried beans, just mm -hmm. so we don't have to go through the yeah. process. Cause it, you mm -hmm. know, what I'm saying for real, for real, all I did was use a can of refried beans that was vegan. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you can also refry your own beans. You can wait for another video to show you mm -hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? But got that. Mm -hmm. And then we also already have. Yeah, I think that's what I'm saying. Queso. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Made from yes. scratch. Yes. Queso. <laughs> Gluten free. Hey. Um. Yeah. No nuts. Um. But it's queso. It it, it do the job. So yeah, I've already it's made delicious. this. Um. I'm gonna have a TikTok video real quick Ooh. on how to show y'all. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um. So yeah. So what we can start off doing is go ahead and we can put. This is our bowl of good mm -hmm. goodness. So you can see the layers. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So we can all. Um, if you wanna go ahead. And I will go ahead and position this this okay. way. Mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and layer the refried bean. Then we're going to layer the queso. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to layer... Mm. Mm. Actually, no. I'm going to layer it. Okay. If you want to start on the guac. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. So we got a few avocados over there. Yes. I love avocados. Yep. Yes, <laughs> me too. Me too. Mm. Um, also got a home tomato for you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, I forgot my shallots. Oh, I forgot the onions. But I, maybe you have an onion. <laughs> See, this is so beautiful working. The partnership. <laughs> it just works. Um, and gosh, um, 
You know one thing I would like to learn how to make? What is it? Hummus. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Do you have a hummus recipe? I, you know what's mm -hmm. crazy? I really, really am going to make my uh, red pepper and garlic hummus. Mm. Um, and I honestly, I know exactly how to go about it. I just have it. Wait, are these shots? No, those are um green onions. I mean, oh. we could use those scallions. We could use those. Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was gonna use that to sprinkle on. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm oh, a little garnish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, put a little sprinkle in there. But yeah, okay, okay. So, what's your favorite thing to do with an avocado? Um, you know, I I do avocado so many ways. I like the guacamole. I like avocado um toast. I like avocado with eggs. Okay. <laughs> okay. I like it a lot of different ways. So how do you hook your avocado toast up? Oh man, I usually do onions, uh -huh. um, you know, just salt and pepper really. Uh -huh. well, salt and pepper goes a long way. Yeah, a lot talk, of things. talk to them. <laughs> talk, <laughs> you don't gotta do too much. You just don't. Pepper. Shout out to uh, the Blue Diamond. <laughs> this is very lovely. <laughs> so, for my birthday, right, my solar return, my homie Renee Nocturnal Photography, shout out. She laced me with a Blue Diamond knife set. Mm -hmm. And this is my first time cracking it open. And she also got me right with a cutting board set. Oh, so, nice. that's what we're cutting on right now. You know, I get a little fancy for the video. I couldn't even do a regular <laughs> diggler, schmegler. You okay. know, I tried to bust it out for y'all real quick. <laughs> so, shout outs. Plug. <laughs> She's a dope photographer, by the way, just so y'all know, local in Richmond. So, yeah, you know, you know the vibes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Avocado. That's, that's one of my favorites because it's, it's very simple, and a lot of people don't realize you can manipulate the flavors mm -hmm. so, so much. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be, you know what I'm saying, anything anything too crazy but it gives it that right mm -hmm. that right texture if I must yeah say. a friend of mine uh did some type of pasta with avocado oh. like a kind of looked like a pesto type of thing and you, know? you yeah. can do so anything. much I've done a uh, avocado mashed potato oh so what I did was oh, check this out <laughs> so I made the avocado with the mashed potato, right? Mm -hmm. And so when I put the mashed potato in there, I whipped it, whipped it, whipped mm -hmm. it good. Whipped it good. <laughs> and it had the slight green color, right? Mm -hmm. But guess what I did with the shell of the avocado? Mm -hmm. I put the mashed potato Oh, like in a little bowl. Shell. Oh, you're fancy. Okay. <laughs> and then put the little pepper and the mm -hmm. goddamn sea salt oh, on yes. top. Yes, I like that. Missile. Listen, because there's so much to food. It's, it's like the presentation of it as well. And even like even with other, like the colors of the things, it's, it's so much. So yes, I'm here for all of with it. With all of the things and the things that all come with it. Things things. People don't realize how creative you can be in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And that's why I love Actually. vegan food. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because with vegan food, you can be very, very creative and not limited. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you can probably be that way with other foods, but... This is the Vegan Thoughts channel, so. Yeah. Apologies. Have you ever got people be like, what do you eat? What do you eat as a vegan? It's like, anything. <laughs> Man, a lot of people be like, a lot of people have that misconception that it's just, you know, of course, kale, grass. Right, right, right. But, shoot, even the kale spinach thing you made, bussin'. <laughs> bussin'. So, you just gotta, really, it's about the flavors, I think, and just knowing how to dress things up, and, yeah. Okay. It's definitely the flavors and the texture. Uh -huh. You know, that is that is a lot of the key. You know, being able to emulate things that our palates are already uh -huh. used to. And everybody's like, they're so mad. They're like, why are you calling it this? Why do vegans want it similar to this? And it's just like, because we program too. And, uh -huh. and honestly, you don't like what raw meat tastes like. Right, it's the flavor. You like the seasonings, you like yes. the herbs, you like the texture. Mm -hmm. So it's just like it ain't the animal, it's the it's the taste. Mm -hmm. And that's you know what I'm saying, that's the reality for me. Mm -hmm. So it's like if I could spare a life by just, you know what I'm saying, emulating something that I like, you know, and making it the best, the healthiest version, why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. 
why not? There you go. You know, I ain't mad at nobody for doing anything, you know, but I just want to show y'all a different way. Yeah, options. Options. That's what it's about. Uh -huh. Not being limited. And I think people who even aren't vegan still like your food, you know? The, like, you don't have to be vegan to eat vegan. <laughs> people don't realize that majority of my customers are not vegans. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to say 90% of my customers oh, wow. aren't vegan. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They just love the food, but they're also transitioning, too. Yeah. They're also, you know, curious. Yeah, you know, yeah. They're, they're interested in it, I should say. So, well, that's it. All right. How much? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. She was about to go in and cut the whole. Yo. avocados is making sure when you press them they're they're not hard but they have a nice kind of soft but not too soft type of firmness mm -hmm. to them if you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you know like that's the hardest thing picking the avocado mm -hmm. this one might not be that ready yet now they ready one of these might be too ready <laughs> we're gonna see when we bust it wide open. Bust it wide open. <laughs> For real. But um, yes, yes, yes. That is always a struggle. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool. So how do you, what's up with the tortilla chips? How does, how does... Oh, yeah. We the, okay, I'm gonna start that right after this, actually, because... Actually, oh, yeah, you know what? Mm -hmm. Nah. You want to start switch? with some okay, yeah. yeah. I'm going to question you can cut these. <laughs> no, you're actually doing, she's actually doing way better I mean, job than I diamond. am. It's the blue diamond. I'm not she's doing She's actually job. doing a way better job than I am. Because when I tell you, I'll be going. I'll be like, man, as long as the motherfuckers cut, right. we good. You know what I'm saying? We're good. Folks, uh, warning. I, I curse a lot. <laughs> this video ain't for kids. It ain't for sure. Don't show your kids this video. Yeah, right? mm -hmm. Unless you want them to show them the real, which is cool with me, but <laughs> let's not. Care. They need to know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So you have certain oils, and I have a video, I'm going to have a video on TikTok about this too, because certain oils have certain temperature heats that you can cook them at, but mm -hmm. maximum, minimum, you know what I'm saying? So, well, not, ah. not so much minimum, but maximum. So, you want to do like your olive oils, those are more for like sauteing, low heat, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not for like deep frying. Deep frying would be more so like your grapeseed oil, which is up in the air for a lot of people because they like to say a lot of things about grapeseed oil, but I find that it is mm -hmm. helpful and very beneficial. Mm -hmm. Sunflower oil is also a high heat oil, so you can deep fry with that, saute, do your thing with that. Avocado oil is definitely a high heat oil, I believe as well, but coconut oil is definitely low heat, so you can't heat it, but so high in temperature. Um, I know with olive oil, I want to say if you heat it past a certain temperature, it becomes toxic mm. because it releases toxins. Oh, wow. Yeah, so um, you definitely want to do some research on your oils and your temperatures and, you know what I'm saying, what works for what because everything doesn't work for mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. The more you know, right? Right. Because I, I ain't know that shit either. Know. It's mm. crazy. So, yeah, I do um, sunflower oil just because canola oil I hate to be the bearer of bad news, y'all, but I ain't good for you. <laughs> Got carcinogens in it. I don't even know how to say that shit. It doesn't sound right. But bad stuff. The bad stuff. The bad stuff. Yes. I try to stay away from vegetable oil because it got some bad stuff in it too. Mm. So, you know, sunflower oil is one of my go-tos. Grapeseed oil. And um, 
the really jazzy R and B, I guess you would say. You have that personality, so it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I think that's where I'm really from. <laughs> Yo, um, that's crazy because I don't know what year this song is, but uh, it's cold outside. That's one of like one of my ultimate favorite songs with Ray Charles. Ah, uh, what year that is? Yeah, that's see, crazy. I just feel like music was a little different in that era. It was just, it just felt like you real. felt it differently. Yeah, than, like, yeah. I, I Start dance. You know what? Maybe that's why, not to switch sides, but why, you know, love is kind of not really a thing right now. <laughs> I was thought, the music is there. The music don't promote love or like, you know, like the genuine. It's not. It's really not. And that's such a real thing. Music is frequency. So. Exactly. What you need? I'm going to come up to my, um, mm -hmm. my master right here for myself. Hey. But yeah, it's, it's, it's the frequency. Like, if you look it up, like, they're actually not even using, you know what I'm saying, the same hertz of music. Mm, mm -hmm. You know? Like, my sister was telling me, like, um, you know, uh, George Clinton and all of them. Mm -hmm. Like, that's why a lot of that music was timeless because yeah. it's like they were on, they were on another level. Mm -hmm. They were ahead of the game, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah. psychedelics, all of that. Like, mm -hmm. it's being just tapped in, you know, the things that we are afraid of, that we've been born mm -hmm. right? To, you know what I'm saying? Stray away from. It. Yes. So it's like we won't even understand it because we're not on the frequency. Mm -hmm. So you're definitely right. Like that's, but that's what we're about to change. Yeah. I feel like that change is coming because mm -hmm. it's just like you can't. Come on, man. Like it don't even make sense for you know. What I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like true love, not to even. Come on, like that's what we made of. Like that's it's really the root of all of it. I feel, but that's when when people stray from it. That's when you have all these this. Yeah. Yeah, the fear and the hatred and the division and just the yeah. disease and all these things. It's, it's a lack of love, really. It's a lack of love. And that's all it is. And it's just like, people don't want to, you know, take that for what it is. Mm -hmm. And something so simple. Like, no, no, no. Right. It's, it's more than that. It ain't just... Right. Like, no, no. And then love becomes this foreign concept. Right? It's just like, well, what is that? What does that mean? How do you do that? Love becomes <laughs> more of a, of a game mm -hmm. than what it means. Yeah. Where the real ones at, man? <laughs> the real ones at? Two of them right here in the hey, kitchen. You know that's right. <laughs> Shit. I ain't got time. Ain't got the time. I ain't paying no mind. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever's for me will never pass me by. Okay. I know that's right. Shameless plug, though. Shout out to Healthy Mixes again for my <laughs> black salt. Ooh. What's black salt? Tell me about it. So this is like... I've never heard of this. <laughs> so a lot of people use it's, it's it's like I don't want I don't know if it's two different types it is two different types but it's, mm -hmm. I guess it's the same compound but you know the black salt they use to give it give stuff an eggy flavor for mm. like vegan devil eggs and stuff oh. it's, it's more of a powder it's okay more of the the crystal form oh yeah so I want to say it's derived from like volcanic um, mm. yeah volcanic salt so some it's, it, look it up, y'all, because I, I can't think of the top of my head. But, <laughs> it's, but it's very beneficial. It helps regulate your blood yes. um, your blood uh, pressure levels, so your sodium intake, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people don't realize, though, a lot of that comes from your sugar intake, too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Your, your high blood pressure. So be careful about that white sugar and that mm -hmm. white salt. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to say nothing, but okay. that bleach shit but ain't. I'm saying something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that bleach shit ain't that natural shit, mm. you know? Mm. Throw That's it out there. Right. So, so they sell that? Oh, yeah. Oh. But see, um, see, you got to get a lot of these herbs. See, this is organic black salt, too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these herbs you can't really find in the store. And why? Because mm. they don't want this shit to be... it's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is for you. You know what I'm saying? They don't want it to be mm. available. They don't want to show you. To like then iodized salt, mm. then you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It's just it's a life of, of different minerals and beautiful compounds and just things that are just great for your body that the earth has just naturally naturally produced. provided the creator created for all of us, just like you and me. <laughs> okay, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's really it's, mm. it's interesting. It's 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 interesting. Mm -hmm.
taught you how to cook? so to cook she was more uh -huh. so you know what i'm saying cooking for us and stuff but after a while it's just like i just got into it you mm -hmm. know and i went to cali because i wanted to see what was up you know see if i could learn more things and yeah. i went out there and i got more spiritual into mm -hmm. myself so nice but i yeah. came back and bootstrap and mm -hmm. just hit the ground running nice. with with vegan thoughts you know and haven't looked back since that's dope like wow. that's crazy like all the recipes everything has just come because and you're so creative with it that's why it's like really it's just been a year <laughs> so an interesting story though so mm -hmm. i catered a retreat shout out to my homie d'angela mm -hmm. um i catered a spiritual retreat mind nice. you she's having a spiritual retreat a plant medicine retreat october Ooh. 1st through the 5th okay. um so yeah, you yeah, have to yeah. put on. I love it. <laughs> oh, look, I'm the. Okay. I, I'm trying to be the plug. This is yes. what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? We all connected, so mm -hmm. we gotta put each other on. Yes. So yes. last year we did a one around the winter solstice. It was my mm. first one, and I was talking to one of my friends. Shout out to Terica. She does. Oh my gosh, she does fitness. She's amazing. Shout mm. out to her. It's nice. us. Es es esoteric wellness. Yes, mm. I ain't want to get it wrong. Mm -hmm. So um. So we were talking, and it was like probably like 3, 4 in the morning, I can't remember. And we were outside, and like the stars where we were at, and everything, oh, constellations, nice. it was so beautiful. Yeah. And I remember me saying, yeah, because I just want to work on new recipes. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I looked up, a shooting star. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> message yes and so it was just like after that like i just realized like the ball was just started mm -hmm. rolling my like my wheels were spinning mm -hmm. like i would just get on facebook or i would get on instagram and i would see something i'd be like yo i want to make that or yo mm -hmm. i want to put a spin on that you know what i'm saying so yeah it's still so much like i said damn mm -hmm. <laughs> i should the right thing to want to shoot and start <laughs> Yeah, loved it. Like they yeah, loved I, it. Yes, because you feel different. 
Like you, I remember when I first was eating meat, and I, well, not first. It was all my life, <laughs> like what? from birth. <laughs> um, but, but I used to uh, have to get up. I, I was supposed to be at work at 9 a.m. at this time. I would wake up at like 8 and still be exhausted. And it, that's, that's not enough time to get ready, but I'd still be exhausted. Getting 8, 9 plus hours of sleep, still exhausted. But I noticed with the diet changes, I sleep about 5 hours a night now. And I'm like rejuvenated. I'm ready to go. Good, because your body don't need that. Your right. body needs rest. But it doesn't need that much to where it's a, a, as a, it's excessive. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because like, I ran off of, of so many men. Unless they got, unless they want to talk to me, like in my sleep, mm-hmm. I don't sleep that long. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's some things I gotta work on. Learn out. and the yeah. dreams are kicking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All that. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Unless it's something like that. They don't, you know what I'm saying, I don't really have too much to um to really worry about. Mm-hmm. But as far as like you said, man, just running off of just natural light body, you know what I'm yeah. saying? People don't understand like having a light body is very, it's very essential to, you know what I'm saying, what you do and how you live and how you mm-hmm. think and how you focus and yeah. It's, yes, it's, definitely. Everything. Mind and body is yeah. like a, it's it's everything is connected. Everything so is connected. yeah, get your mind right. Get your, get your right. mind. Get your life right. Get your <laughs> mind. <laughs> okay. Cause we ain't got no time, yo. Ain't got the time. Shit. Mm. I keep peeking back there. Everything's so beautiful. <laughs> and it's inside. We're like, everything. Oh, yes. Do you see these layers of this dip? Yeah, it's a little. The case of kind of took over, but. That's okay. That's yeah. what it's supposed to do. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I'm ready to. I'm ready to. Die. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, what, like what that boy Trey song <laughs> okay. Trey ain't never laugh. golden brown color of these tortilla chips that I've just fried. Okay, like in a restaurant, okay? Who want to hire me, okay? everybody what's going on everybody so i'm gonna let y'all know right now we're on two different cameras we're on two different cameras right now so um we're doing a live stream we're also doing recording um i am here with lilla rose we are here with the sustenance and sound sessions the sustenance and sound sessions if you mm, sustenance and sound sessions (laughs) the sustenance and sound sessions if you don't know is with me and an artist and we get in the kitchen and we pretty much we pretty much, uh, we we cook together, you know what I'm saying? We cook together, we vibe together, and we do our thing, and then we sit down for an interview, and then we have a live performance. So I'm so excited. I'm going to take these glasses off because, mm-hmm. um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but yes, so we are here now, 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 all right? So um, first I'm going to introduce... The dish that we made. The dish that we made. There we go. There we go. There she go. What's going on? All right. So we made this beautiful seven layer dip. Seven layer dip, y'all. All right. And these chips. Delicioso. She made these are her chips. <laughs> so not only did vegan thoughts throw down, she yeah, threw down dip, too. Dip, dip, and I'm a, I'm a dip, baby, dip, chips, baby, chips. 
I'm a shameless plug. I'm a plug again, healthy mixes. Um, shout out to y'all because I, for one, I seasoned the food with the herbs they provided and the seasonings they provided, all organic, beautiful, just amazing. And two, every time I do these sustenance and sound sessions, I want to highlight a local brand, a local, just, you know what I'm saying? be able to promote while we promote. You know what I'm saying? So tag your favorite local brand, your favorite local artist, whoever is doing their thing, and make sure we go ahead, I can cop some merch from them, and we can get it rocking like that, all right? So let's get into it. Lala, what's good? Hi. What's up, what's up, what's Man, up? I'm feeling good, I'm just excited. We just finished cooking, and everything smells good, and I'm just, the vibrations are high. <laughs> It's a good time. Raise the mm -hmm. vibrations like yes. you raised the room Ay, back okay. in the day. <laughs> All right, so, I mean, do you want to try this real quick? So uh, see, yeah, I see do. what's up for the people. Okay. First of all, these nice golden tortilla chips. Watch the crunch on that, baby. <laughs> Did you say what's in this? Did you tell the people? What's so I this? didn't. Um, this is a seven layer mm -hmm. uh, dip. It's vegan. So um, mm -hmm. I made my mm -hmm. uh, queso um, from scratch. I'll mm -hmm. show y'all a video on how to make your own queso from scratch. Um, also have our guacamole. Mm -hmm. um, also have a little refried bean in there. Got some kale top it off. We got some. All the things. We have, we have some salt. So we got some good stuff in there. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So let me, let me see what's up with yeah, it real quick. Yeah. Ooh, this chip, man. Hey, I'm trying to dip all the, all way. the way down, bro. Yo, it's a setup. See, I like to mix my shit. No, I know. So. We probably needed spoons. <laughs> Delicious. Right? You hear the crunch? Do y'all hear that crunch on those things? <laughs> Into it, right? I'm gonna have one more, and then I'm gonna stop stuffing my face. Yeah, <laughs> so but we can talk. If, if we're gonna stop. <laughs> it's we're really not good. Stop. I just want you to understand. It's really, really good. Wow. Mm -hmm. I feel mm -hmm. like I'm in a little Mexico somewhere. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. That was dope. That was dope. Delicious. So I appreciate you being in the kitchen with me. You know what I'm saying? Allowing me to come into your humble, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful casa. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate you being here, man. Like I was saying, we've been collaborating on a couple of different things, and it's just the vibe is always high, the vibe is always right, and uh, you know, it's just like minded individuals. And we were talking on the way here about how I know you don't remember, but we met years ago. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, yeah, that's but crazy. But then it like that's connected, crazy. it was just like, you know, a brief, oh, hi, nice to meet you type right, of thing. Right, right, <laughs> and right, right, right. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, and that's, you know, like you said, it comes around full circle. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, the universe aligns you with people before aligning you with people. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I love that. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, my God. Tell me about what do you do. Oh, my gosh. I do the most. <laughs> Apparently, Leo, right? <laughs> I'm a Leo all day. Um, <laughs> but no, I, I really just, um, I guess I do what I love. I just, all the things that I really love and adore, I just try to find ways to incorporate that into my life. Like my home is filled with art and music because those right. are the things that I love. Right, and right. even all the artwork, like I've accumulated over the years. Um, it's it's taken me a long time to to build to this point, but um, it, I just want to keep keep the creativity in the room and the atmosphere. It's really it sets the tone for that because I am a creator. So yeah. um, I like to make music. I have a couple of podcasts that I'm doing. Um, do a little bit of art. I cook. I have a studio. Uh, that's one of the things I want to do with the studio is when people come book studio time, I'll cook for you. <laughs> you can get a little meal. I will book plate. just like a big cook for okay. you. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I made some tacos last night for studio time. So, yeah, just all the things that I really love and truly enjoy doing. Just hosting. Do. Yeah, 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 yes. I get it from my mama. <laughs> hey, yeah. she get it from my mama. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. I yeah. love that. That's beautiful. So, are you from Richmond? Um, Basically, I was born in Michigan, but then I moved to Virginia when I was like two, so that's okay. all I know. But I'm from Chesterfield. Okay. Yeah, and I've been in the city for about... Um, three, four years now, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> I absolutely love city life. Like, just being in the mix of things. Um, you know, of course, with, with COVID, it's been a little up and down with, like, the things that people can do, but outside's been opening back up, and just, I love live music, I love performances, I love going to open mics, and literally, I'm five minutes away from all of it. So it's the best. Mm -hmm. It's the best. I tell yeah. you, a lot of people like to hate on Richmond, but 804, man, we got a lot of, a lot of talent. Really? We got a lot of good food places, a lot of good, mm -hmm. just artists in general. Yeah. Like, whatever you're looking for painters, singers, dancers, mm -hmm. rappers, poets. Yes, like, comedians, the, everything. 
the mural art, like, and it just the city is very scenic and beautiful with the water and just, it's it's just really a lovely place to be. A lovely place. Like, everything. <laughs> like I tell people, I went to Cali and I was like, damn, I miss Richmond. Oh, that's some fucked up shit. That's some fucked up shit. They look at me like, bitch, you crazy. No, like. No, I feel you though. You know, it's, the, it's, it's everything, mm -hmm. so I understand that. Yeah. So let me ask you, how long have you been into your creative? So first off, let me let me ask you, what are the people going to get a taste of from your creative side today? Because I know you do uh, a lot. But yes. What are they going to get a taste of from you? So um, I'm going to do three pieces. Um, it's kind of a mix between poetry and well. I feel like music just is poetry, really. So, so but some literally started out as poems, mm -hmm. and then I would just put it on a beat. You know what I mean? Nice, so, nice, but nice. it's just really expression, just different ways I I found to express myself, and it's really like literally things that I've gone through, things that I felt. Some are th are poems that I've written to people. You know what I mean? Right, but it's right. just I gotta I gotta express myself. So <laughs> that's beautiful. I love it. Thank you. So we're gonna get into that side. All right. So when did you start singing and doing poetry <laughs> and all of these things? What was there like a first situation that kind of happened? I'm not talking mm -hmm. too. No, no. Well, you know. I, I literally have been singing all my life. Like I love, love, love to sing. Nice. But I'm also a very shy singer. <laughs> I sing to myself. I sing in the shower, I sing in the car, I sing all around my house. Right, right. But um so I feel like the poetry was a way for me to kind of get more more comfortable with like, you know, melodically <laughs> expressing myself. Um but it's really it's been since about 2017. Okay. Like okay. Re 1 1 January no, 1 1 1 January 11th, Ooh! 2017 one, is one, when my one. life turned around nice. and I abruptly quit a job, I abruptly left a relationship and I was just like, fuck all of that <laughs> you, know what, you know what that all you know what those numbers all equate mm -hmm. to right yes 11, 11. yes i know and 11 so hours yeah come on come on all of it and so it's all been synchronicity and one wow. is like the beginning so it's really like i was starting a whole new yeah. life at that yeah. time you yeah. know it was open yes yeah. wide open and i didn't have a plan when i quit like literally <laughs> I was just feeling unappreciated and the same morning like my boss was real rude to me and I'm like I'm out ah! <laughs> I packed all my stuff it took me two hours and I was Deuces. out I was out. I didn't have a plan you. but the universe took care of me like ev like everything just fell into alignment and look where I am now like I remember planning all of this back in 2017 I was like what wow. do I really want I was like well I would like to have an in-home studio an art gallery I want to make music I want to make food for people I, like all the things but and that, that's what things. that's literally what manifestation is like that's you plan it. and you execute and, and you believe that you can have it you believe that you're worthy of having it yeah. and those things come that's a lot of what we all mm -hmm. fall short is that you know what I'm saying we want these things but it's like We've been so programmed to not believe we can actually have yes. these things. And I think mm -hmm. that's the barrier. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're right yeah. there, but it's like the blockage is us. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Our uh -huh. mind state. So that's beautiful. Like, yeah. I love it. And it, y'all, I'm going a, I'm to a get some footage of her home if she's okay oh, with that. Because yeah. when I do the YouTube video, you're going to see little clips and snippets of it. So you can get a really taste of... Lilith's world because mm -hmm. it's really, really dope. Thank like, it's, it's amazing. Like, the first time I stepped in here, I was like... <laughs> home for sure like damn right. you know it's beautiful yeah. it's immaculate thank you thank so, you so I, I also want to ask you you know what I'm saying as far as your inspiration mm -hmm. where does it come from ooh um <clears throat> on a personal level like if I had to choose like a person or something mm -hmm. on a personal level I would say my mom is a huge mm -hmm. inspiration like mm -hmm number one support just like the classiest woman i know right, right, right. <laughs> and she's just she's just a great woman and musically we were talking about this earlier and it'll come back around in the performance but lauren hill nice. i love lauren hill like nice. so today is actually the anniversary of the miseducation of lauren hill being released nice. and i aging myself i was in sixth grade i believe <laughs> and um i just remember being captivated by the album like i listened to it like day in and day out from start to finish and there's these little skits with the kids talking about love and you know what it means and you know what that's probably the problem some of these people today they ain't never heard miss education lauren hill that's like Yo, no <laughs> they don't know love real. okay she was like love what is love love <laughs> Like, come on. That's no, the, so go back and listen to the album. It, it's just life changing.
changing. So it was life changing for me. And and really just her talent, her flow, her style. Um, I just loved it. So that really has inspired me musically and artistically. Ah, so amazing. Yes. Like mm -hmm. shout out to Lauren Hill. Yes. May. You, it show you can you can make a huge impact with one album mm -hmm. and that should be timeless and a motherfucker. Yeah. So oh never God, think, yeah. you know, you need all this extra fluff. It's all about quality mm -hmm. over quantity. Mm -hmm. Less is more. You less, said that earlier. Just talking about <laughs> less is <laughs> more. Yes. That's uh -huh. beautiful. Yeah. Oh my God. So I'm excited. Like I really want to get into the performance, but I want to gauge more into yeah, your energy. Of course. You know what I'm I am with all of it. <laughs> so it's like, you know, tell people something about yourself that you will really, you know what I'm saying, want them to and I'm not saying like to convey to them or anything like that, but something about you that I'm not gonna say not a lot of people know, but people might not think or you know what I'm saying, like mm. a layer of yours, you know? Oh gosh, a layer? Um I, I don't know. I feel like I really just try to live my most authentic life. Right, right. And again, I, well, I don't mind saying because I feel like age is wisdom. I'm 36. I just turned 36 at the beginning of August. Yes. So, <laughs> but I've, I've learned so much as I've gone through life. Look. <laughs> So I, I really like I and I, I haven't always been the best version of myself. Yes. So from that now, like that's really how I try to interact with people and how I just try to live my life because it, everything really is a reflection and energy yeah. returns. So I'm not gonna put out any type of energy that I wouldn't want coming back at me. And I also understand like you have to understand that you're working with your light, you work with your shadow, so things are going to be up and down and you don't stay in either one of those spaces. So just ride the wave, ride the wave kind of. That's so crazy. <laughs> you said that because my sister literally told me that the other day she was mm -hmm. like Kendra she was like it's going to be up and down she's mm -hmm. like it's okay like you just have to learn how to deal with both like yeah. you can't always be light and I'm like you right mm -hmm. but damn she like no ain't no but it's, yeah. you know what I'm saying it's, it's that's that's it. what it is that's ride it. the roller coaster there's certain laws like universal laws of right course. so we have like the law of attraction there's also a thing called the law of cycles wow. so anything that's up goes down yeah. and then when it's down it goes back up it it's just to. it's just like your life can't just be up all the time yeah. that's not that's not living that's not experiencing no, anything not. so you're gonna have the dips and, and the law of cycles definitely has applied and will continue to apply but um it's just about learning uh the lessons and uh, I see. I was just reading the message that gave us a tour. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, y'all want a tour? It's coming. Yeah, yeah, it's coming. We're gonna give you a tour yeah. when we transition into the into the performance phase. How about over we do that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we do a little 360 spin around. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but okay, okay. Yeah. So that's it. Just living authentically. <laughs> that's the best part, and I feel like a lot of us, you know, what I'm saying we 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 live in fear of that because mm -hmm. we we're so caught up in what other people perceive you know yes everybody i really feel that is a thing like especially with how social media is right, right now right it's like the main thing that people are into and involved right. like people spend hours and hours just scrolling scrolling right, right. and it's funny because one thing probably doesn't even get more than 15 seconds of your attention right. if that right but we're so into it and it's not real this is real like what's around us this food that we cook tonight is real you know Yo, this it's love so that we put into it that no. is real so no. you just gotta understand that and yeah. be focused on what is real and what really matters and all the other stuff the fluff like get uh, just yeah. don't worry about it it mm -hmm. is what it is you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying yeah <laughs> so let me ask you um on a um i guess on an artistry level mm -hmm. when it comes to creating do you find it easier to create with like i guess do you have a preference in whether you collaborate or work independently Ooh, i would say a little bit of both. I love collaborating with people because I just love mixing the energies right, right, and it's right. like even like with music, you know, for me to hear a track and someone else to hear the same track and to come up with two completely different, you know, expressions or, or stories or melodies or whatever, like it's, it's lim creation is limitless, right? So right, I just, right. I like experiencing that with, with other people as well. Um, and then I, there are also, I, I'm a loner and like the Pisces moon, man. Like, I, <laughs> I Talk really, about it. I spend the majority of time okay. by myself, believe it or not. Like me and my little dog, <laughs> we be up in here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just planning, creating, just whatever. So both, I think. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's yeah. beautiful. All right, so before we get into performance, I'm going to ask you one more question, mm -hmm. right? So think about one of your 
favorite, like one of your game changing songs? And what was it about that time in your life that really inspired you to write it down? Like, was it, you know what I'm saying? Like, where were you at in that point? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And where do you find yourself at when you do make these, these, this music, you know what I'm saying, that really puts you at mm -hmm. a, a pinnacle where you feel like in your career? You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Well, I would have to say it would have been back in 2017, like when I really first started writing because that's what gave me the confidence to be like, oh, I can actually do this. Because, you know, before I, I would write for school or I'd write like reports for work and I've always been a very strong writer, but that was for other people right. or for other topics or other things that weren't my own. Right. So it was really just tuning all the way into myself and saying, what do I want to express? What do I have to say? And um, just since I've always had this love for music, like it's probably obnoxious. <laughs> like I, I, I really do. Like in whenever I work places, I'm singing all the time. Like I just, but it's it's not because I think I sound good. I just love music. <laughs> Let me tell you, love I music. can't sing, and I sing all the right. time it's, too. It's so, just happiness. You know, I remember yeah. I was like ten years old, and I was like, Mom. Do I sing too much? And she's like, singing is happiness. So that that's why I sing. Okay. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to moms. Shout out to moms, Dukes, because that was some real shit, yes. right? There. Like, yes. Like real. Okay. So I did say I had one more question, but this is this is the last one. I, I promise. promise. It's I cool. promise. I promise. <laughs> so we was in the kitchen, mm -hmm. and I know the people on live didn't hear. But what is your favorite genre? I love jazzy R and B. Like go back in time for, to like. 60s 70s and really before that 50s man it was just different it was just a different time like I the lyrics that people used it, it was just like it's, it's poetic right and now <laughs> I mean I'm, I'm not trying to like be like oh music today you know like what those old people <laughs> 36 but we are but those <laughs> old people I am you the know, old people like, okay because I'm like <laughs> But okay. really, no, I mean, there are, there, there's some music that's saying stuff, but then I feel like there's a lot of music that isn't saying yeah, stuff. Yeah. And all I'm saying is, I like music that says stuff. <laughs> that's that's all. all she's saying. That's all I'm saying. And I ain't mad at her. I ain't mad. Yeah, you know no disrespect. <laughs> express yourself how you want yes. to express yourself. But what resonates, resonates. Yes, you know definitely. Saying? And literally, like when you say resonate, like I feel like vibration, yeah. you know what I mean? Like it, it hits you differently. Yeah. yeah. And it hits you, you know what I'm saying? And I hit yeah. the next person the same way, mm -hmm. but it hit you. It you hits know? you for so. a reason. For, so, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's get into the boom room. Ooh! Boom room. She okay. said she like jazz. We are gonna see what's going Let's <laughs> let's let's let's, let's, All let's right. get this performance popping. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm just I'm just woo. <laughs> What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Shout out to you guys. Yes, Healthy Mixes. You know I had to plug y'all. Hey, Come on. You, know, you already know the love. You already know the vibes, man. All right. So we're going to get into this live performance. Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. You can bring it closer if you want. Yes. Yeah. I was thinking like, with the uh, jukebox, too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um... We in Virgo season now, so the seasons are changing, and I feel like, you know, we just go through changes, and we were talking about on the way over here, um, kind of dealing with loss and, and uh, of friendships or different type of relationships, and I definitely experienced that a few months ago, so this first piece uh, is going to be about that. It's called Bacardi Gold. Mm -hmm. Woo! Thought I was protected, I need affection God damn, this bed is cold without you Can't believe that I was wrong about you I belong to you, you were never mine Heartbreaking, literally going out my mind without you Can't believe that I was wrong about you Self-medicate, I'm filled with hate and shots of Bacardi gold. Self-medicate, I'm filled with hate and shots of Bacardi gold. Smoke, drink, cry, think. Smoke, drink, cry, think. Self
self-medicate, I'm filled with hate and shots of Bacardi gold. Self-medicate, I'm filled with hate and shots of Bacardi gold. I just smoke, drink, cry, think. Smoke, drink, cry, think. Cycles ending, new beginnings. I'm prepared, I'm hurt, I'm scared. I can't sleep at night, so I stay up with the moon. Mourning the death of love, gone too soon. It's just cycles ending, new beginnings. I'm prepared, so hurt, so scared. I can't sleep at night, so I stay up with the moon. Mourning the death of love, gone too soon. Self medicate, I'm filled with hate and shots of Bacardi gold. Self medicate, I'm filled with hate and shots of Bacardi gold. Smoke, drink, cry, think. Smoke, drink, cry. Self-medicate, I'm filled with hate and shots of Bacardi gold. Self-medicate, I'm filled with hate and shots of Bacardi gold. I just smoke, drink, cry, think. Smoke, drink, cry, think. Alright, that's Bacardi gold. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Alright, the next one, as we were talking about earlier, shout out to the amazing, amazing Lauren Hill um, and the anniversary of Miseducation. Um, so this is off of the beat for nothing even matters, but it is a poem that I wrote back in 2017, one of the first poems I wrote. Kind of goes along with the theme. It's my song, right? <laughs> Again, loving Lauren Hill, uh, I, I stuck with the whole Nothing Even Matters theme. And last year, there was a lot going on in the world. I mean, there still is, but just division and racism and murders. And I was just like, oh, nothing really matters right now except for this, what's going on. So um, that's what this next one is about. And I had uh, my two neighbors at my old house, two 19-year-old boys next door, they're playing the guitar and um, drums for me. So shout out Chayton and Holden. <laughs> shout out. <laughs> Nothing even but the revolution. Nothing even. Are you the problem or solution? Nothing even but the revolution. Now we say Nothing even. Are you the problem or solution? Remember when we tried to tell you that we couldn't breathe? When we had our hands up, don't shoot, get more fatalities. It's like y'all was stuck on mute then, only mad because they looting. We in a country more concerned with money than the lives it's losing. I say, tear up what y'all want until they stop with all the shooting. Protect black lives from poisonous ties, sever at the root of all evil. Is the hate for my people, why? In a country we built, so much blood has been spilled. 
spill mourn for the stolen black lives while they ignore our cries justice and equality don't seem to apply to me how in the land of the free who gonna stand beside me this is the home of the brave break free from your mental chains no longer will be enslaved now we say nothing even but the revolution now we say nothing even are you the problem or solution nothing even but the revolution now we say nothing even nothing even matters but the revolution and we've come too far to have no real solution Enemy works hard to keep your mind polluted. I won't be treated like three-fifths a man. I'm equal to or greater than. No such thing as minority. We the majority. This is America. Really, they scared of us. We come from kings and queens. Stolen identities. It must be jealousy. It ain't that hard to see. Melanin richer than diamonds and gold. You steal my culture, but can't steal my soul. You try to kill what you cannot control, but my people too strong and you can't get a hold. Oh, no. You got no regard for human life, and that ain't right. You know that your mama taught you right from wrong, and that's the fight you try. To say it's about just black or white to cause divide. Oh, why do you justify when we're victimized and terrorized? Digress, my sweetie, it's just my people need me. It's no more time for silence. So grab the and riot. We didn't ask for silence. 400 years been trying us. Now you see, we uniting. It's fight or flight. We fighting. Now we say nothing even. But the revolution, now we say nothing even. Are you the problem or solution? Nothing even. But the revolution, nothing even. Love is the solution. Thank you. <laughs> That's how I got my life. <laughs> wow. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Sorry I messed up that second one. <laughs> I was really going for it. <laughs> sorry? <laughs> what are you sorry? All right, so listen, y'all. Listen, 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 listen. I just had a whole, whole, whole little thing to myself just because that was amazing. Thank you so much. And if you hadn't really? said mm -hmm. anything about, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. anything, yeah. I would have known nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it was just all flowing. It was such mm -hmm. a vibe. Like, wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wow. Thank you for this opportunity, for real, man. Man, what? <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank y'all for whoever's tuning in. I appreciate it. I appreciate the love and yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to have a long concert and have her, okay. Tierra and Andrew. Oh and my I'm gosh, beautiful. I love that. They're so beautiful. <laughs> y'all got y'all vibe is yes. just so just mm -hmm. yo like I just love it like thank you I'm ready to, man what yes. yeah like thank you yes. like I sincerely thank you oh. for for this you know what I'm saying allow me into your home because this is just a dope 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 ass setup thank you like I mm -hmm. man like oh my god like <laughs> for real let me show y'all something real quick hold on I'm gonna bring on. this one you take that one I'm gonna bring this one cause look like <laughs> Alright, this is the Look. studio over here. This is my little corner. Oh, not my little corner in my own like corner. So I do a and lot then, I do a lot of things over here. Look at this. I create, I do tarot. Oh. Beautiful windows. I love the windows. And um here is over here. So yeah, he's I I don't know if he's from Richmond or Petersburg, but he has all these different um symbols in the background. Like you can pick up a lot of different things. Like he with the woman, there's the scales here. Uh, there's love written up there. I think Moo Hair is like woman in Spanish. That's up wow. there. There's just so many different symbols and you, you can take something different every time. Every time. That's the beauty yeah. about art. Like mm -hmm. you see something new every time. <coughs> like yeah. both my sisters paint and every oh, time. Oh, nice. Yeah, every time you see see their paintings, it's always something new. Yes. Always something course. new. So, and I don't know if y'all noticed, but I, I love to keep roses around. <laughs> roses! Rose here. It's yes. just, it just helps with the vibration, really, it, and it's the still smell is cool. immaculate with the roses. So, yes. um, yeah, yes. just trying to keep the vibrations high and, Always. you know, good spirits, good mood. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. We, uh, man, let me mm -hmm. tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. Go. Let's put the star back on. No, <laughs> you the star. You the star. Let me tell y'all, man. I am so, so ecstatic to have Lilith Rose be my artist, you know Thank what I'm you. saying, <laughs> my, my, my feature artist, um, honestly, for starting back the Sustenance and Sound Sessions. Me, I'm so... Um, 
less than grateful. It only makes sense mm-hmm. because, you know, when, when I started them, the, the point was to really highlight artists and, and local performers, mm-hmm. people in general who are creatives, to really give them a platform to show who they are because they are genuine. Not too many people who are genuine mm-hmm. get, you know what I'm saying, platforms or something to even be able yeah. to, you know. And I'm starting off, so it's like, why don't we just do it together? Mm-hmm. And like you said, we've already collaborated on a lot of yeah, parts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's just like, all right, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Let's mm-hmm. kick it off. Let's get the vibe. Let's set the bar again. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I wanted to say, rest in peace, rest in trust, rest in transition to mm-hmm. Izzy Ray. Yeah. Uh, she was amazing, phenomenal, dope. I can't even think of words, man. Dope. I can't even, like, I, really, I met, I used to live ne- three doors down from the Nutty Buttery. So uh-huh. the first time that. I, I saw her at Nutty Butter. I was just right. captivated. Right, right. So I went, I was like, what is your name? Right. And every time she would see, she'd be like, you're famous. I'm like, no, you're famous. <laughs> like, she's just amazing, amazing, beautiful spirit. And um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful person. So rest in peace, Izzy Ray. Yeah. Long live Izzy Ray. <laughs> she already back. She already here right. with us, okay. right? Right. right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm glad, um, you know, to be able to do this and to highlight artists like you all. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody likes to highlight, you know what I mean, the people that do what they do. But it's it's so many artists out here that are so great and so skillful and yeah. so genuine and so tapped in. It's just like, mm-hmm. why not? Mm-hmm. So thank you. Again, yeah, thank you. Those, thank you, know you know for the saying. opportunity, really. Yeah, yeah. And for the dip. <laughs> dip, dip, baby, baby dip. dip. <laughs> hey. Yo. Well, listen, I'm about to get back into that. <laughs> so look, we about to, yeah, we about to get back into that. Um... <laughs> Yeah, we about to, yeah, eat, because I'm still hungry. Yep. I was crushing while she was performing. I, felt kind of, I had to go in the kitchen. I didn't want y'all to hear the crunch. Right. right? You know what I'm saying? Do her thing. So, yeah, <laughs> so we're going to get into that politics for a little bit. Appreciate okay. y'all for tuning in. Um, The live stream is here, but I will be posting the YouTube video later once it's edited, and I will let y'all know when it's up, because when it's up, and it's up, and it's up, up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Keep your vibes high. If you got to hey. stay low, don't stay there. You know what All I'm right. saying? Law cycles. Law <laughs> cycles. Let's get hey. out of the motherfuckers. Peace. Hey. Yay. <sighs> that was good. <laughs> that was amazing.